after the downtrend in the Dow closed below the uh, T line, it's had a hard time getting back up above the T line, keeping a consistent downtrend. Today's selling didn't even support at the 50 day moving average, but notice how the excessive selling has come in near the end of the downtrend. Stochastics almost into the oversold area. There's probably going to be some more downside due to the close near the low end of the trading range. But I would start watching for a reversal signal that may be supporting at the last congestion area. Additionally, the factor that uh, the NASDAQ gapped down after doing kind of a little bearish signal right uh, with a close on the T line told us one thing that if the uptrend was still in progress, they needed to open it and trade positive. The fact that they gapped it down should have told you that the sellers are starting to take control. Either they're going to support at this level, the uh, previous bottom, or they're going to support down here, which would also be coinciding with filling the gap over here. This puts more energy into the downside for signals such as the bearish kicker signal with a bearish J-hook pattern in progress as we saw in our recommendation last week of CHS on the short side. And also illustrated in ALJ where you had the dumpling top this day right here was a good indication they weren't going to get it back up through the uh, T-line. That's kind of a blow-off day or a scary day for the shorts where they take it up and then they immediately bring it back down. This one is still a good short with the consideration that uh, this dumpling top is usually a good forceful move to the downside. But also charts like uh, Q-Core with a fry pan bottom probably a cup and handle, it has not been able to close back below the T-line. This slow curve fry pan bottom is usually an indication there's something going on here other than worrying about what the market direction is doing. This one, look for a little cup and handle. If it breaks up through this level, you should have a strong price move. And CLNT also had a fry pan bottom trajectory, which even though today's selling was was bearish or negative, it didn't break the T-line or the trajectory of this pattern. Once again, the force that was building up in starting this fry pan bottom up is still in here despite what the market is doing. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.